This question wants us to interpret a histogram. Quite often when you've got a histogram question, you'd be working out the frequency densities and using the fact that the area of each bar represents the frequency as a way of filling in tables or calculating things. Uh, this question is slightly different. Um, they've actually given us the frequency densities straight away. So we can use those facts um, to work out uh, what the question actually wants um, because the area of each of those bars is representing the frequencies of the original data. So it's saying work out the proportion of apples in the sample with a weight between 140 and 200 grams. Um, that word proportion uh, can be interpreted in lots of ways. Quite often uh, we interpret it as a percentage. Um, quite often we can interpret it as a decimal and a fraction. So I'm personally going to work out the uh, fraction, uh, sorry, the uh, percentage, uh, which is going to be the fraction anyway, in a sense, times 100. Um, so we need to work out uh, how many apples there are in the sample altogether. So if we remember the basic idea of a histogram is the area of the bar represents the frequency because we have the formula um, frequency density equals the frequency divide by the class width and this can then be turned round to be the frequency is equal to the frequency density times the class width in other words the area of the bar so literally on this question then I would go through each of the bars calculating the frequencies by doing the area so this bar here, for example, is 20 wide, it goes, sorry, 40 wide, it goes from 100 to 140. And we've worked out the scale of this graph. So we can see that each little square is, let's have a look, we've got 10 little squares for 0.2. So one square is equal to 0 0.02. So we've just got to be careful that we work our scale out carefully. Um, so here we've got 40 times um, so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 1 1.2. So 40 times um, 0 0.12. And then this bar, we've got 20 wide. So it's going to be 20 times, again, if we look at the scale, we've got 0 0.3. So 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 6. So that would be 20 times 0 0.36. And then this bar, again, is 20 wide. So it's going to be 20 times and we've got 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, this one's 20 wide as well. So it's going to be 20 times. And here we've got 0 0.5, 5, 2, 5, 4, 5, 6. So 0 0.56. And then for this bar, we've got 40 wide. And it's times 0 0.1. So 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 6, 1, 8. So 0 0.18. So the total frequency is equal to 40 times 0 0.12 plus 20 times 0 0.36 plus 20 times 0 0.7 plus 20 times 0 0.56 plus 40 times 0 0.18 so we can put that in our calculator and we get an answer of 44.4. So it says it wants the proportion of the apples that weighed between 140 and 200. So between 140 and 200, it was these three bars here. So between 140 and 200, it was the 20 times 0 0.36 plus the 20 times 0 0.7 plus the 20 times 0 0.56, which equals 32.4. So the percentage is going to be 32.4 divided by 44.4 times 100. So 32.4 divided by 44.4 equals times 100 equals so 72.9. So 72.97%, which equals 
73% to the nearest whole number. So 73% is the proportion. So again, uh, just a quick recap. We got that answer by recognising that uh, this is about a histogram. And uh, the histogram has the formula frequency density equals frequency over class width, which can be rearranged to be the frequency equals the frequency density times the class width, which technically we're thinking of is the area of the bar. We worked out the scale of the graph, and we found out that one little square was worth 0 0.02, and therefore we can work out the area of these bars by just doing the sums of the class width times the height of the bar. And in doing that, we worked out the total frequency for all of the apples was 44.4. And then they asked us for the proportion of between 140 and 200, and we worked out the areas of the bars for those, which gave 32.4, and then we turned that 32.4 out of the whole sample into a percentage by times by 100, and we ended up with a final answer of 73%.